YouTube, hey guys. Um, so I wanted to make this video last night, but like after I tell you what happened last night, you'll see why I waited to today, which is November 8th, to tell you this video. Um, let's see. First of all, I wanted to say hi to, I believe your name is Phoebe Phoebe on Twitter. Hi, thanks for watching my videos. Um, I got your message. Thank you so much, and I hope you stick around and continue to watch them. Um, so let's see. So last night, yesterday, let me start off by telling you what happened yesterday, and then I'll get up to what I wanted to tell you about. So yesterday, I was um, at the library until around 3, and so after 3, I left, and I w came to my mother's house. You know, I chilled with her for a little bit, <clears throat> and then, let's see, what time? 4 o'clock came, so I left, because I had class at 6, so I left at 4, um, I had to drive my sister's car because my car's in the shop getting fixed. I have an entertainment system. Something's going on with it. So I took my car to the shop, and so I drove my sister's car to school yesterday. So I get down there, and, you know, I, I'm driving or whatever. I get to class. I sit there for four hours from 6 to 10. Then I come out. It's 10 o'clock. It's pitch black because the time has changed, so it's completely dark. And I go to her car, take the key. And here's her car key right here on my keychain. Take this key right here, you know, twist it. And I'm like, wait a minute, the door's not opening. And I'm twisting it and I'm looking behind me. You know, everybody's pulling off. And the only thing I could think of was Freddy's about to jump out of the bushes. <clears throat> and so I'm twisting and everybody's pulling off. And my instructor like is like, are you okay? Are you okay over there? And I was so embarrassed. I was like, yeah, oh yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, see you later. And so then the lady beside me, she was like, hey, Jennifer. She's like, are you having problems? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine, though. You can go ahead and go. She's like, well, I'm not leaving until, you know, you're getting the car. I don't want to leave you here. And so I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And so I'm twisting and twisting. And finally, here comes the instructor. And, he, and I'm twisting and twisting. And he said, are you sure it's not one of these other keys on your keychain? Are you sure it's not this one? Are you sure it's not this one? And then so he takes the keys and he use, he turns every key that I have on my keychain. And I was like, dude, I'm thinking in my head, like, this is the key I drive with. And so he's like, well, um, and then the lady, this patient, the, you know, this waiting, she's just, she's just smiling. And I'm like, if you just don't leave, you know, I don't need this. I'm thinking to myself, but I was grateful because I didn't want to be there by myself. Because the first thing I thought about is horror movie. And so she's like, Jennifer, after after maybe 10 minutes, she was like, Jennifer, do you want to just catch a ride up to this McDonald's up here? And you call your AAA, because I do have AAA insurance. And so I got to thinking, and I was like, I don't want to hold them up. It was going around, going on 1030. So I was like, yeah, sure, sure, you know, let me hop in the car, let me grab my things. So I hop in the car, I call AAA as I'm driving to McDonald's, which is only a couple feet up the road. So I tell the lady my problem, I tell her I'm not locked out of the my car but the car key will not open the door she's like okay miss harris we'll have a record truck out there in 30 minutes it's like okay thank you and so i'm sitting at mcdonald's looking like a prostitute no lie no shade to the prostitutes well like this mcdonald's was the most one of the most ratchet mcdonald's i've ever been to like they were playing uh they were playing juicy J, and they were playing i like tupac they were playing tupac through the speakers over the classical music you know the little soft music that they play that was playing but out of this boys he had like a boom box sitting on the counter <laughs> it was sitting on the counter with his ipod on top of it playing juicy j and um twerk music and the girls behind the counter were sh you know twerking and i was like oh my gosh is this real life you know is this what i don't see this is the kind of life i'm not immune to so i was like wow and so i'm waiting and sitting and waiting and then 45 minutes go by. I'm like, where is this record truck? So I call my insurance company, and they're like, yeah, you know, the record truck that was coming to get you, it broke down. I was like, seriously, I'm sitting here for no reason. I was like, you guys weren't going to call me and tell me that? And so after she told me that they were broke down, I was like, well, you need to get arrangements for somebody else because I'm sitting at this ratchet McDonald's. And it's kind of sketchy. Guys are, you know, the guy, this old man, he walked in, he was beside me, he was like this. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you looking at? And um, so I was like, hurry up, call someone else. 
So I had to wait another 45 minutes. I get a phone call. Miss Harris, um, where are you? And I was like, I'm at McDonald's on Pleasant Hill. And he was like, okay, well, I'm 10 minutes away. I'll be there. And so I was like, cool, okay, I'm waiting, but okay. And so, you know, it felt like McDonald's was a club. Everybody was, you know, dancing as they were putting salt on the fries. The girls just dancing. I was like, oh, my gosh. And so um, finally a car... A car pulls up, and the car goes boom, 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 boom. And I was like, this cannot be the guy who's coming to open up my car. Boom, 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 boom. Mind you, I have to get in the car with him to go back to my um car, which is at, my sister's car, which is at school. And so I'm like, hi. Um, I'm like, um, yeah, I called about the car. And so I was like, I had to catch a ride at someone else. And I was like, my, um, my car is at school. He's like, I don't see the car. It's like, it's at school. So... Then I sh- I went around to the door side, and he pulled up. I was like, hold up. Then he backed up, and then I got in the car, and his car was disgusting. It was a cat on the back seat, you guys, and I hate cats. And so as I'm driving, you know, I put my seatbelt on. I prayed to God that his car would not cut off, but that car was really the struggle. And so we go to the school. He's like, hey, how are you? What's your name? And I look in the back seat. And if you see a car seat back there, it's my cousin's car seat. So I look in the back seat, you know, and there's a baby's car seat back there, clothes. And I looked at his finger, and he had a ring on his finger. Mind you, he was about uh, four foot something. And I'm five, like five, ten, five, six foot. And so he's like, hey, how are you? What's your name? How's your day been? And I'm thinking, how do you think my day has been? It's 11 o'clock at night, and I'm still waiting on my car to get open. So he was making small talk. I'm like, this is not your job. Your job is to come open up my door. You're trying to make small talk. You're trying to flirt. I catch you. I get you. And so as I was getting in his car, guys, there's a motel room beside the uh, McDonald's. And I know these people are looking at me like, look at that prostitute getting in that car with them. Like, and I was so embarrassed. And so I kind of blacked out so I wouldn't, you know, worry about what was going on around me. And so as I pulled up to my car, he was like, oh, this is your car? I was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, well, you can stay in my car until I get it open if you want to stay warm. You know, I know it's cold. Or do you want my jacket? And... What was I going to do with his jacket? It'd probably stop right here. I was like, no, I'm fine. Thank you. I just want ready, you know, ready to get home. And so as he was uh, trying to unlock my car, he's still trying to make small talk. I was like, dude, come on. He's like, will you shine your nice little pretty iPhone light so I can see um, into your sister's car? I was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, um, and then he was like, so you got a man? <laughs> and I was like, is he really going there? And I was like, yeah, uh-huh. I have a man. Yeah, and he's waiting for me to get home, which I don't. And so he kept trying, he kept trying, kept making small talk. And I was like, dude, come on. And so finally he popped it open. He said, oh, I popped it open. I popped it. And he kept accentuating, popping something open. It's like, oh, I was like, thank you so much. He was like, anything for you guys. I was like, dude, this is the first time I have seen you. I have never seen you. He was like, anything for you guys. So I was like, "Mm mm-hmm, okay, thank you. And so then, you know, I drive off, and then I stopped at the store because I had a limit on my card. And so I had to use my car two more times at night before 12. And so I went to the store, and I pulled up, and the convenience store worker, he was, you know, hi, how you doing today, mom? How you doing today? He's like, are you going to work? I said, huh? He's like, you just going to work? You look very nice. I said, thank you, you know, thank you. Um, let me just scan up my items. I was rushing to scan up my items. He's like, you look really nice. He said, what's your name? I said, my name is Jennifer, and um, I just want to pay for these items. He said, you want bag? You want bag? I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then he kept asking me, he's like, um, you go to work today? You look very nice. Because I had on my work clothes, because I wear work like clothes to school keep it professional and so I'm like dude you know it's going on 11 40 you know I'm ready to get home hit a small talk or whatever give me the receipt let me sign this thing so I can get out of here and so I get home I, you know I'm driving or whatever listening to music trying to focus on not worrying about what just happened and so I get home bring my bring my uh sister her car and I locked the door again I was like oh my gosh not again so I locked the door and I was like, Tina, you're going to have to come upstairs. Um, I locked your car door. And so, she, of course, she was mad. She's like, oh, my gosh, you're always doing this. Why didn't you think about it? I was like, girl, if you knew what kind of day. Mind you, it was about 12 o'clock when I got home. I was like, you do not want to go there. So she's, you know, outside for an hour or whatever. 
waiting to get her car door open. Needless to say, there's something wrong with her lock. My day was crazy insane. Oh my gosh, guys. So look, I forgot to mention, on the way to school, um, I was stopped at this red light. And, um, you know, I locked my, I was just looking, and I locked my door. I was like, I, said, I saw this guy coming towards my car. And I had my window down, so I didn't want to be too obvious. And he looked at me, he was like, hey, girl. You want to give daddy a dollar? You want to give big daddy a dollar? I was like, what the? What is this? She's like, you want to give big daddy a dollar? Go on and give big daddy a dollar. I was like, oh my gosh. So I let my window up. Needless to say, I sped off. I was like, oh my gosh. Yesterday seemed like a dream. Like, it's a crazy day. I'm glad it's the weekend. Crazy. Just a random blog. It's, I'm at 10 minutes. I don't want to blabber. But yeah, Um. let's see. What else has happened? school i need some video topics like me and my sister we were going to do the sister tag video just so i can introduce my family um my sister's birthday was the other day and if you follow me on twitter which is simply underscore jp harris um you'll see the pictures from her birthday and as well as instagram i don't really post on instagram and i do have a facebook um but i usually add like friends and family but you know i don't mind adding other people um, thanks for the ones that are watching my videos. I know they're completely random, but, you know, I blog, and whatever, and I'm still using my iPhone because my laptop is still broke. You know, I like to add animation or other video clips to my videos, but I can't use my laptop right now because it's broke, and my neighbor's looking at me like I'm crazy. So, I think I'm gonna go, but yeah, thanks to Phoebe, Phoebe, and other people who have watched my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll continue to make videos. I hope y'all are having a great day. Look at the leaves on the ground. It's fall time, guys. Leaves everywhere. Look at those leaves. And the time has changed. And the guy who does um, the yard at my apartment, he hasn't done them yet. So, yeah. I hope everyone's good. I hope you guys are great. Um, I'll have another video soon. I'm getting ready to go. And bye, guys.